<laughs> That's hilarious, dude. All right, and then on the Star Citizen Leaks channel, I'll put their their link down below here. Uh, Execute my friend was talking with Piggles and Hater from the Star Citizen Leaks Discord, and they had uh, some inside views on some assets of the Hall C which is a freighter kind of trading ship that a lot of people are looking forward to. And it's one of the smaller classes, still relatively large. And also, I believe the bangle carrier. So let's look at a couple shots, if we will, of that. Um, I'm just going to kind of fast forward to different types of parts. That's that's I, I, I wish they would. Did they switch it around here? I just want to see if they compare it to the size of the javelin here. Let's see. They're showing the bottom of it. Very, very long. How I'm not quite sure how much. SCU. Is it the Hall B? It says Hall C. Oh, Daddy Cash says I want my Hall B. <laughs> he got the bigger version. Uh, let's see here. Or, or is it B is smallest? Oh, I forget. I forget the way they ranked it. Is the is the A the smallest and the E the largest, or is it the other way around? Yeah, 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 yeah. A and B are smaller than the C, and then D and then the E. God, could you like the E is ridiculous? It's got all those cargo uh containers around it. But anyway, yeah, there we go. We get to compare it to the Bangle Carrier. So relatively good size they're showing here. Um, takes up like a quarter of the midsection. Uh-huh. Like larger ships, we got to talk about like if they're going to be dockable on on planets. Some some are not going to be. I would I would imagine even these larger ships. We're talking about these big cap ships shouldn't really be able to land on a planet or a moon unless it's like low low gravity. Some things to consider when when we're talking about the physics of something. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. Uh, they're gonna go inside here. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going inside. So you can see he's got his heads up light on his tactical light on his helmet on. He's kind of going around in here. Uh does have that misc feel. Kind of reminds me of like the cockpit right up in the front there reminds me of of a freelancer. <laughs> um Yeah. Fairly large. Lots of doors inside here. Most likely going to storage areas, I'd imagine. Uh, what are those going out into space? Not quite sure exactly what those doors are doing. We got like LEDs around the perimeters of them. Go here. Let's see. Let's see what they're saying. Um, I had a question here on the Genesis Starliner. Is set in the RSI website as a medium range transport ship. Could they work? Or oh, they're talking about the Starliner as well. Um, let's see here. No, I'm not a big law guy myself. But the other Inferno guys, man, some of the stuff <laughs> they come out with. Mm. Yeah, don't don't write off law, man. Don't write it off. Well, a lot of that lore stuff is mainly... Okay, so like very bare bones right now. Very bare bones, the assets that they're showing. Let's see. Let's let's go. They, they just kind of like had some hallways and that was about it on that. Now the... Ja uh, the I'm sorry, the bangle that we get into... Good God. <laughs> Good God. This thing is ridiculously massive here. Let's see if they get inside of this thing. Trying to fast forward. Okay, yeah. They're going to get into the hangar bay area here. Let's watch this. Oh, man. This is beautiful. I think it was the bangle that they showed initially on the Squadron 42 Kickstarter video like moons ago moons and moons ago here we go come on come on get in there this is really cool to see the progress being made on this i'm pretty sure um you'd imagine the cloud imperium wouldn't want this stuff leaked particularly there's some things that they do want leaked and then there's others i'd imagine that they want kind of very close-lipped and this is one of those things that i think got out that they were might be a little bit upset about so that <laughs> something that i hear on the grapevine but um that's crazy amounts of space in there holy god oh my god oh my god that's man that really gives you some uh some perspective w holy god that's ridiculous that's awesome that's that's awesomely ridiculous right there wow so that would be the exit going out. The other way is coming in. 
And I love it. Being able to be down on the ground and really looking at it gives you the the feel. Thank you, Zim. Welcome to the fam. Welcome to the fam, man. Welcome to the fam. This is amazing. So this is great. I, you know, personally, I love when Star Citizen Leaks does this stuff because I, I want, I want to know, I want to know personally. Um, some people get get a little bit of hate for doing these types of things, but really, this is something that I think personally, uh, Cloud Imperium should be doing a little bit more of. But I get it. Some things they want to release, some things they don't want to release. I understand. Uh, but wow, this is a beauty. This is a this is an absolute beauty. That's so much space. Even below, you can see more ships can be stored below and then brought up. Which I remember seeing in some of the trailers, you know, but like being able to be here and see it like this, you can you can really get the enormity of this of, of, of how big this cap ship is. This is ridiculous. Look at the size of those pads below. Whew. That's 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 blowing me away. And again, you know, one of the criticisms is, oh, yeah, well, we can't really do anything until they do something with the servers. And, they, you know, like this is the thing. They're building up towards it. They're building up towards it. This is a great job by Star Citizen Leaks. They did a wonderful job getting this footage here. Uh, coming out through here. And then there's even more space, it looks like, for more ships in an adjoining hangar section. I love that, that below you have this kind of storage area that you can taxi these planes around and then and then elevate them up to the runway inside this large hangars. Whew. I'm, I'm blown away by the, by the enormity of the ship. But, you know, when you're going outside and you're looking at the outside of this, I'll get back here, but, like, you just really don't get the whole... I mean, you can. I mean, this taking up the whole screen. You actually do know it's rather large. Looking at this, but Jesus, when you get inside of it, you just you're like, holy mother of all that is. <laughs> it's really big, man. That's what she said. <laughs> but yes, hey Dy, thanks for that subscription, bro. So there we go, Halsey Bangle Carrier. Uh. Just got a taste of it. I'll put the link down below. You guys can check it out in a little bit more detail. But I wanted to show you all the larger ships. Thanks to Teller. Thanks to SC Leaks. This is great. I love to, to promote other channels as well. And 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 these are great content creators giving us some scoops. And and that's that's uh that's really impressive. That's that's really impressive. I, I love that. I love that. I love that. I love to see that. And um Guys, I'm telling you, I, I just get more excited. 3.10 has been very difficult for me. I love the Mo Trader app, and and I don't know if you guys saw the video the other day, but I did put out a video about the Mo Trader app, which is the wallet to wallet transactions between uh, other other players in the game, which is really wonderful and easy to use. I think they need to design it so that it fits in with the uh, Moby Glass, but I think because they're using building building blocks as a technology that it might be a little rough to to work it in to look like a Moby Glass page because it does not. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that. Let me show you that. Um, uh, I put this video on my channel here so you can see what that looks like. Let me get this display up. Uh, yeah, it does. It looks like a late 90s phone app. Absolutely, Melkier. Absolutely, dude. That's a, that's a good way to describe it. But uh, let me, let's me let see here if I can get to the video section. So here I am, uh, which, and by the way, like I said, it took me forever to get into this and i'm glad i was able to get into this to give you guys some content but i uh, along with a lot of other people have had tons of 30k issues and i i understand it's a ptu right now but good golly miss molly i i've i didn't i haven't ever had any troubles i've been a part of a lot of first wave ptus quite a few at least a dozen of them and I would say that this one has been the most troublesome as far as server related issues. The 30 Ks have been really bad, really bad. And, and it, it, that concerns me. And I want to be truthful with you guys, you know, like I'm not going to be like, oh, you know, everything's uh, butterflies and lollipops and all that shit. If it's not, because it's not like right now, the PTU is in a state where it's just really hard to get you guys content. But I have been able to. So today I put out the new Grim Hex. Tomorrow I'm going to put out my flight my flight test video. Uh, so like I'm, I actually did atmospheric flight test because I really wanted to see what the difference is, uh, and I was able to do that. 
So that will be tomorrow. Uh, and I really hope you guys are going to pump that out there and get that that information out there. This is the MoTrader app. Uh, so you so you bring up your Moby glass here. Let me let me let me uh, show you guys here. And then you push into it, and you're able to actually. This is really easy to use. I don't like the looks of this. I really think that it should not look like this. And the but I think the reason why it does is it's because it's directly related with the building blocks technology. So the building blocks technology is the same tech used on your friend's uh, screen that is able to connect everybody through Spectrum. And I think the reason why it looks like this has a, a direct relation to the building blocks tech. So it's, go it's going to be more of an issue of the developers designing this so that it fits with the stylistic look of a Moby glass. And I'm not quite sure they're going to be able to do that, but I think they can fix this. This is just the first iteration. I'm glad of the function of it. Um, I, I'm glad of the very function of it because it is, it is very simplistic to use. And then on this video, I also talked about the transaction fee. So the transaction fee on here is half of a percent. And what was described to us was somewhere around six to seven percent on a taxation fee through the UEE. Am I? I'm kind of going slow, aren't I? What's going on here? I see myself like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so anyhow, what I'm trying to say though is that I think that they'll probably build in that taxation up to six to seven percent as time moves forward to do transactions. Not quite sure. Right now, it's only half of one percent. Um, so I'm glad to be giving you this content. Uh, I really like the Mo Trader. I, I really like how it's really going to make things a lot more simplistic. It's going to bring a lot more content to the game. You're going to see people being able to use this to help with escorts, perhaps better, better way to transfer money to people with who are helping you with missions. Um, it's so much more simplistic going player to player than it is using like an automated system or beacons it's that was a whole bunch of crap that nobody really liked personally i did it i know a lot of people were complaining about beacons it was a horrible way to transfer money this is like 10 times better so i'm very happy to see that they're they're changing that um yeah i mean like scooter's saying that people are, who are playing star citizen are having um uh, one disconnect or 30k per hour and that's being generous you know like they must have wonderful connections I was I was barely able to connect for longer than 10 minutes at a time the past two days has been ridiculous and I have tried multiple multiple times to get in and then thank god earlier this morning I was able to have a pretty long session of a little bit over an hour two hours which was very very much appreciated because it's not easy to put this content together for you guys. And I was able to do a very thorough flight test, which I will put on the channel tomorrow. Anyhow, MoTrader, very cool. Love it. Uh, the new area of of um, Microtech, I show new Babbage. Um, like Daddy's saying here, I was trying out a FedEx mission, but a bug that, you know, this is this is like really common. So more 30Ks than I've ever seen before. Of course, we're in the PTU. We're not in the PU. Uh, these are things that I did report because I was just like, hey, guys, you got more more 30 K's than I've ever seen in my entire life of playing this game. And my entire experience this is the most 30 K's I've ever had. So I, I put that in there. Um, but yeah, it's 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 and then Matt like Matt, you know, it's an alpha, <laughs> you know, but like it, these are things that they have to know in order to make the game better. This is probably the worst ever when it comes to connection issues and server related issues. But yeah, hopefully they'll they'll put a kibosh to that i think they will by the time second wave hits um but uh overall once i was able to play and see a lot of the new places in grim hex and, and microtech uh really cool really like what what they're doing in microtech and showing us the new items that will eventually be in the game i was a little disappointed that they that they were kind of like placeholders but i understand and then grim hex the new area i absolutely loved what they did the grim hex so that should be on the channel right